Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm going to do a video tour of the model home for Casa de Maine that's currently located out in Vintage Oaks. We're going to actually get a guided tour today by their sales rep, Ryder. I really like this builder, so let's go check him out. Casa de Maine does build a beautiful home, and yes, just my luck. It started raining here on us uh, just as I was setting up to do this little video. But it's a, just showing you a little bit of the vintage oak section. But don't worry too much about vintage oaks because this custom home builder can build anywhere in the greater San Antonio, Texas Hill Country area. So uh, we're going to just focus on the builder, not where it's located. And one of the things I know Casa de Maine does is has a metal roof. They do use a zip system and uh, spray foam insulation in the attic. And I'm sure Ryder is going to talk a little bit more about that. But it is a beautiful home. I definitely like the little driveway setup that they did where the garage is kind of right out front like that. Give me, give me a little bit of a courtyard feel. All right, let's go head on inside and talk to... Mr. Ryder. All right, let's head on inside. All right, check out this home, and there we have Mr. Ryder. Hello, Jason. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome to Casa <laughs> de Maine Homes. <laughs> All right, Pleasure I'm happy today. I've been in this house quite a few times. I absolutely love it, but it's going to be a treat having a uh, Ryder here kind of tell you the insides and outs of what. Casa de Maine does and why you should build with them. Yes, thanks for coming in again today, Jason. So this is our Cypress model. This is a 3192 split floor plan open concept. Uh, kind of our take on that modern farmhouse. You see a lot of those elements in design today, but we are full service custom construction. So full service architectural and design. Uh, we sit down with every client and address their individual needs. Uh, this home is a great representation of the high level of finish in what we do. Um, but being that it is a model, it's one of those deals where it's, it's great to walk through inspirationally, but our flag is sitting down with y'all and creating a one-off plan for you. Uh, when we're designing a home, you know, starting with the heart of the home is the most important thing for us. So when we nail a heart of the home like this with the tall ceilings, the open concept, the split floor plan, it really gives you a good idea of the functionality of a home of this nature. Like I said, it's roughly 3,192 square feet, um, but it feels a heck of a lot larger. When a home is laid out correctly, it is how you can really open up a space and, and really offer you a, a beautiful home with a, a, a relatively you know, smaller square footage. Um, so as we look around, um, you know, this home's got a lot of really nice things in it. I know Jason showed you the solid beams. Our cabinetry here is done by Michael Edwards. Um, he's out of the San Antonio area. He does an outstanding job. Um, that's one of our first phase one meetings is actually where we sit down with our cabinet team and design all the cabinets for the home. So your kitchen islands, your, your kitchen cabinetry, your vanities, everything, all the finished work in the home is gonna be provided through Michael Edwards. Um, as we continue to check out some of the finishes in the home, you know, we meet with... Uh, Love this countertop. Really nice countertops. These are all hand selected. Being that we have full service design, you're going to be going to the cabinet and countertop store. You're going to be going to uh, design services and picking up all the, the slabs for the home. Uh, you're going to be picking out all your tile work for the home. Um, you name it. There's no portion of this home that you don't put your, your personal touch on. Um, as we continue to walk through the house, it is a true split floor plan and open concept. Um, behind Jason here is going to be one of our bedrooms, our washroom, and our mudroom. All right. You want to go right. check that Let's out? Let's check that out. So once again, really nice tile selections for the house. Um, it's really up to y'all. I mean, there's, it's when you go through and, and you see all the different tiles, the selections are limitless. Um, once again, cabinets are by Michael Edwards. You have the ability to do a nice bench here, or like we have a nice dresser or closet or whatever this kind of needs to be, a space to hang you know, purses from, jackets from, kick your boots off, things of that nature. And that'll take us into the washroom here. Loving the little mini barn door. Yes, door. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's quite a few different barn doors you can choose from actually too. That one's more modern, but if you like the more traditional style with the, you know, that farmhouse look, you can definitely do that. And I have clients 
who have absolutely gone head over heels with what we're looking at right now. What yes. is this? This is the dog bath. So a lot of my clientele walks in here with the fluffy little white dogs and they immediately see this and this is a must have. So um, we can do it in the washroom, but a lot of people also move it out into the garage. Um, you can do multiple levels if you have larger dogs, steps, things of that nature. Um, so this is a great little spot for the pooches. So, um, you know, we, we, this has been a really popular thing for us moving forward. Yeah, I mean, I never thought of, hey, let's put a little dog shower in the laundry room. Yeah. But, but once you see it, it's like, it I makes gotta sense. have it. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of dog lovers out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little quick peek into the garage, if that's okay. Yeah. It's got some stuff in there right now from As our they last model. Do, but they do have three car garages. Yep. And really, really standard. Large garages. Um, two water heaters and I always like coming in the garages because you can tell a lot about a builder of yeah it's just kind of dark yeah but this picks it up finishing out the garage I mean if you're getting a custom home kind of like it's kind of nice having a finished out garage versus just seeing the sheetrock there Absolutely. so I'm Absolutely. glad to see that do the eight foot doors a little deeper in our garages too for our pickup trucks so a lot of extra space in here we also have sheeted above this a garage for additional storage all right all righty let us continue the tour and next bedroom here this is going to be a typical bedroom size for us it's about a 12 by 13. Um, that's plenty of space for the kiddos or when people come to visit um, you're going to notice we have 10 foot ceilings we do that in all of our homes a minimum of 10 foot ceilings because we do eight foot doors in the house in all of our homes and um, people have been watching my channel they know i'm adamant about how much i like these eight foot doors if you're gonna have tall ceilings you want those eight foot doors. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It looks silly mm -hmm. having those smaller doors. Yes, it sure does, it sure does. Um, we have an ensuite in all the bedrooms as well. So um, a nice bathroom attached to every bedroom, walk-in closet, you have the ability to, to design these any way you want. So if you like the tub shower combo or if you like the walk-in shower, that's really up to y'all. Um, once again, full tile selection. Um, this, this is a pretty standard bathroom for what we do for our en-suites. Cool, cool. All right. Ceiling height as we walk back into the living space. We're looking at 16 feet um, with the tray. Nice transom windows. Um, really opens up the space. I, I love the, I play guitar, so I love the acoustics in here. It's really nice. Um, it's just, a, it's a very warm spot. Um, if we can picture ourselves in here during the holidays, plenty of room for everybody. Oh yeah. Another standard for us is windows. You know, I mean, the more windows, the merrier here in Texas. You know, this, this is really what we like to do when we're talking about the heart of the home. Lots of windows, sliders, or French doors. I mean, it's, it's up to you. Uh, we spray foam insulate our exterior walls and above us as well, as well all our air conditioned space, essentially. This is a good outdoor patio. Um, above us, we have our soffit, so it's essentially a tongue and groove product. Um, it comes in roughly 10 to 12 different colors, so you can do a paint grade or you can do a stain grade. Um, it's really up to you. Uh, sky's the limit for these outdoor patio areas. Um, we are in Texas, so we all spend a lot of time outside. Um, so we'll see, generally, most people add in a really nice outdoor kitchen. Um, we'll wire for outdoor sound and outdoor, outdoor television. Um, our exterior beams that you're looking at are solid cedar beams. Oh, oh, We're going to do that for all of our exterior beams. Love the cedar. Doesn't warp like pressure treated wood and it's naturally insect repellent. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Great product. Um, it just, it, it really ties the house together too. Um, interior beams are going to be Douglas fir. So our lower beams here are going to be a, a solid wood beam as well. So a nice Douglas fir beam. And back here we have our flex room and another suite, guest suite. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the last one. It's roughly a 13 by 14. Once again, you're gonna have a very similar bathroom in this one. Um, just gives you a little bit more elbow room in here. But layout is pretty much like our last bedroom we were in. If y'all can hear what's going on behind me. <laughs> Oh, look, the toilet seat's down. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Slowly going down. Pet peeve of mine. People who watch my YouTube channel know that is a huge pet peeve of mine. I walk a house prior to starting these videos just to make sure all the toilets are And they down. typically are. <laughs> <laughs> and here is our powder room. So this is set up really nice. It's off of the back patio here. So we have a door to the exterior of the home as well. So if we're popping in a pool, we don't have the kids and family trampling through the house. They can access this nice powder room right off the back patio. Very nice. 
beautiful sink and I love the shininess of this floor here. Mm -hmm. It kind of really pops nice out. Nice penny tile, absolutely. And having access to be able to go right out. That's the side. beauty of it because this, this property, the way it's laid out, we could put a pool in in the future and give the people the ability to once again not have to trample through the house. We can come right into the bathroom off the back patio. Um, this is our flex room. It really can be whatever it needs to be from a space standpoint. It could be a bedroom. It does have a closet. Uh, most people are really turning this into a media space, um, a library sitting room, um, an additional office. We're starting to see a lot of requests for additional offices on the home as well. Because this um, house already has Because this already office. has an office, but 2020 showed us, hey, guess what? We're going to be working two from home a better. lot more. <laughs> yes, so two offices is always better. Um, love the window package off the back of this home. It just really adds to the appeal of the property. Loving it. Yes, you'll notice all the LED lighting too. So all the can lights are standard here at Costa Domain Homes. Um, so you're going to have can lights throughout the home. It just really adds to the appeal of the property as well. Uh, what about energy efficiency? How do you guys keep, uh, it does get really hot in Texas. So what sure do you guys do to uh, energy efficient? It sure does. So, you know, for us, the big thing right now is that spray foam insulation. So we do the exterior walls, like I said, we do above us as well. Um, you know, the, the high efficient windows. Um, it just really, really helps with the, the weather that we do have out here. So when we're running a home of this nature, you know, it, that spray foam insulation really does go a long way. And that is a standard here at Casa Domain Homes. Uh, what's the square footage of this house? This one's just under 3,200. It's a 3,192. And you wouldn't have any idea what the electric bill on this is? Um, off the top of my head, I do not actually. Uh -uh. Yeah. I, I know, I was, I was talking a little bit out there, I know y'all make it extremely energy efficient with especially with all the spray foam you mm -hmm. have in the attic. Yeah. You do the zip system, wrapping yeah, zip the house. Yeah, zip big, we wrap the house, absolutely, yeah. So I, people who watch my channel know there are certain things I really like about certain production mm -hmm. homes. And Casa de Maine has done a really good job of tying everything that I like that other builders do all into one neat little package. Absolutely, yes. And it's all included. We're an all-in company. We avoid that whole cost plus scenario by just being straightforward with how we break things down. So we have a spec list that'll entail every finish in the home from start to finish. I mean, every nail, every board, you're gonna sign off. We're gonna view everything as we move forward. So before we ever get to final contract, you're gonna have a full breakdown on what's gonna be going into your home. And the metal roofs, those are standard. That's right? a standard. So these Galvaloo metal roofs that we have here on the home today, I don't know if y'all saw that on the way in. I did uh, but out. That is a standard for Casa de Main Homes now. So uh, we're just seeing that that's, that's the look right now. It looks really good. It's got a great shelf life on it as compared to a composite or a tile. So we've just gone to that full time with all of our homes. Sweet. Um, another standard as we walk into the foyer here is going to be this solid metal door. Um, we work with a company out of San Antonio, AMS, so we have full front door selection for this. So, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's really whatever it needs to be. Um, you know, if we like the horizontal or vertical glass patterns, that's really up to you. Um, you have the ability to go double doors as well if we're doing a nice oh, front. Big portion. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Have a client that yeah. she just got a beautiful home under contract and she's already trying to measure to see how to get double doors in yeah because that's just her dream she wants to have those double doors perfect yeah 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 absolutely absolutely um been a really popular foyer for us people really like this brick look you know, there's lots of options for this when you get to flooring services you're going to see a ton of different bricks you could do the standard like this or a nice german smear with a thicker grout it's really up to y'all um, but the accent walls are once again something that will break down for y'all and it's it just really adds to the element in the home as well all right, we're ready for the solid beans. So let's go into the master here. Yes, we'll, sir. Well, we can start with our nice little office here, oh. actually. Um, a good size office. I love the fact that it is the true split floor plan. So, you know, when we, we come in the front door and we hook a right, you're in the master quarters. So we have the nice office right off the master bedroom. Um, this is a good size office. Um, you know, it's, it's been a popular layout for us. Closet, closet space, too, little closet it? space. So. If you didn't want this to be an office, you still could use this as a bedroom. You really could. You really could. Baby room, something like that. Mm -hmm. We got a freshie on board, one of those things. So um, you're gonna want them right off the master. So you can definitely do that as well. Very nice. <laughs> That's one of those criteria is like, um, if something's going to be classified as a bedroom, mm -hmm. it does have to have a closet on it. Right. All right, here Good is Good size master suite, y'all. So this one is roughly a 19 by 17, just in this area here. Um, it's a good, good size suite. Um, it's one of those areas where a lot of times people will actually shrink this down um, because what happens with this floor plan by doing that is you add that additional space into the living room. So gotcha. if you really want to open up that living room by a few more feet, let's pull this wall in a little bit because we still have this nice sitting area over here. And you can do that. 
yeah. you can because absolutely do it. It's a custom home. It's full custom. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, we see a lot of people popping maybe some French doors or sliders here off the master as well to the exterior of the home, extending that back patio. Now, in my, um, when I'm interviewing the owners of the building company, there are a couple questions I always like to ask. Do you guys have your own inside the house architect? I know y'all have got some plans that people can choose from. We sure do. So Brent, our owner operator, um, he has graduated from, an a from Texas A&M with a background in architecture. Giggle. So our plans are always vetted multiple times. So when we sit down with y'all, you know, and design these homes, for instance, I'm building a home here in the area. My wife has designed the whole home based off Pinterest, Instagram, you know, different, different website, websites, house.com. We take all those pictures. We sit down, create a, create a one-off plan. It goes over to Brent. He vets it before we even get in contact with our architectural firms to really develop the plan. So the plans are always going to be vetted multiple times. Yeah, I, and I know if you have your own plans, you can bring them in because yeah. uh, just before we started filming, uh, Ryder was talking to another client who's uh, pro who already has all of her plans done. I was just looking over and they're going to be drop dead gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, I love the fact that if you've got your own stuff ready to go, Castle bring it in. Yeah, we'll in take a take look at it. We'll definitely bring it to life for y'all. That, that's a totally normal request. So uh, the home Jason's referring to is going to be a really nice French country home here in Vintage Oak. So look forward to sharing that with y'all. All right, let's check out, let's the, check out uh, the master bath uh, here. So good size master bath, soaking tubs. You know, this is a standard as well. So, um, you know, we, we do some outstanding master bathrooms. So this is a good representation of, of the quality of finish and what we do. Um, you know, it's got the European glass. We do see a lot of requests for the full walk-in shower. So that's a pretty, pretty typical for what we do. Um, once again, when we're looking at the vanity, this is done by Michael Edwards. I mean, he just does superior work. So once again, you're going to sit down with him and create these spots and, and overall feel for your bathroom finish work. And when you hear Michael Michael Edward countertops. I've heard it throughout the industry as I'm getting more and more into custom homes. All the high-end custom home people, they rave about Michael Edward Cannon. Yeah, he's, Cannon. yeah, Cannon. I mean, it, the quality's in his work. If you've seen his homes, he did, you know, we did the Parade of Homes on Cantera Hill, Hills uh, um, a few years back, and he did multiple homes in there. I mean, the guy I've got does, that one on my YouTube yes, channel. Yes, yes, our Travis, too. Um, you know, we've, we've walked out with Jason before, so he just, he's the best in the business in our eye. I mean, he does outstanding work. I'm okay. um, he does all the trim work in your closet as well. So oh, you're talking whatever about these the spaces. I thought you were talking about me. Like, yeah. I'm the best. <laughs> like, oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the plug. <laughs> so however these need to be. So are they going to be hanging? Are they going to be stacking? You know, Michael does a really good job of, of providing you plenty of options. It's one of those things, if you don't want to bring furniture to the project, you don't. He can do built-in hutches, cabinets, purse display, shoe display, whatever needs to be in that home for y'all. He'll sit down and create that. But this is pretty typical for what you're gonna see with the trim finish in all your master closets. Let me come in and check out some of these spots. Very nice. Lots of space in here. And yes. I know um, when you got fo some folks, the closet is their building their dream yeah. closet is a very big very deal. big mm -hmm. very big so this is you know a lot of times we'll do his and hers closets we'll do the folding tables almost like a, a kitchen island type style of thing in the master bathroom and master closet as well so lots of options for that very nice yeah Nice tray system. You know, we use a, a 16 sear unit here in the house as well. So, um, you know, a really nice AC unit for the home. Um, you know, they're all, they're all job spe specific, uh, depending on square footage and layout of the home. Um, but uh, um, best in the business as far as your, your unit goes. Well, I always like to wrap up with asking you, do you have any advice for folks who are just getting started in their builder shopping process? Yeah, yeah, that's that's really important. You know, it's it's one of those things we encourage everybody to do your homework and we're not afraid to tell you that, you know, ask those hard questions, you know, look at the finish work, look at the series features list, you know, things that you can expect in the home, what comes with your project. You know, here at Costa Domain, we're all in, you know, so that's gonna be clearing your property, that's going to be, you know, your septic, propane, everything that's gonna be required to bring your home to life. So once again, we're not a cost plus builder, so you're gonna see a full breakdown on what that home's gonna look like. So as you as you continue to interview your builders, make sure you're you're looking 
at those type of things. You know, you want to really avoid those scenarios where you're, you're six months into the build and then you get the, oh, by the ways, you know, this is going to cost you this. You know, we, we do a really good job at avoiding that by keeping you all up front and, and really part of the process from beginning to end, from designing your home to the minute we hand you your keys, you're part of the process the whole way. You know, we have an outstanding warranty. We have an outstanding inspection process. So we do frame, mechanical, electrical, plumbing inspections. You know, it's all provided by an outside engineer source with the post tension slab as well. So there's lots of things to really do and, and prepare yourself for this. You know, it's don't be hasty when making these type of decisions. Do, do your homework. There's some great builders out here and there's some great models. So, um, you know, we're okay. We're okay with that. We're so confident in our project and what we do. Um, after 26 years in the business, you know, we have really, really got a grasp on what needs to go into building a true custom home. Okay, well, I definitely appreciate your time, and I really appreciate you giving us a tour of this absolutely beautiful home. I want to give one last uh, shot of this main living area, just so people can get to take a time to slowly soak all this mm -hmm. in, because it is really nicely done. And this is just a beautiful home. Well, Ryder, I definitely appreciate your time and yes, I'm going to let you get back to what you're working on. And I, I think you've definitely shown some value to clients who are looking for a, uh, a builder to build in this wonderful area. Because I love everything about the Texas Hill Country and you guys can build all over the Texas Hill Country. How far out do you guys go? I mean, so our headquarters is in Spring Branch. We pretty much operate within an hour's direction of Spring Branch. So we got projects up in Dripping Springs, Marble Falls, Fredericksburg, Bernie, San Antonio, New Braunfels, you name it. We're all within this area. So we cover a pretty vast area. Good deal. Mm -hmm. All right, with that, I'm going to let you go, and uh, I will talk to you soon. All right, uh, sir. Take care Thank now. you. Bye. <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap up the tour of this beautiful home by Casa de Maine, and I really appreciate Ryder doing this. And another thing, uh, always remember, Using a realtor in this process costs you absolutely nothing. And if you're military, throw a nice little rebate at the end coming out of my commission going towards your closing costs. So uh, feel free to reach out to me, uh, text or schedule um, a time for a Zoom meeting with me. I can send you a link to my uh, calendar and I'm happy to uh, sit down with you and talk to you, learn about what you're looking for so I can better help you. And if you got any VO tours you're wanting me to do, shoot me a message. All right, talk to you soon. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.